the 130 pound limit tonight. Morales has gone up only to 139 unofficially, while Pacquiao has put on 15 pounds of rehydration to go to 144. So Manny, for the first time, will enter the ring with a functional weight advantage against Morales. Punch that numbers from preceding fights. In the first fight, as you can see, Pacquiao threw many more punches, but Morales landed.
Thomas looking like he wants to engage. Pacquiao just figuring out what he's doing. Pacquiao's belief is that Eric Morales wants to come and try to get him early. After what happened in the last fight, Pacquiao believes that Morales doesn't believe in his gas tank, doesn't think he can go down the stretch with the Filipino slugger. So many thinks that Morales is going to try to impose his size early. But tonight, unofficial weights, Manny's the bigger guy. Uh, you know, the fact that Morales wanted to use the puncher's gloves also created a little interest to me, at least. Normally, he would be asking for the winning, but he wanted to go with the gloves that Pacquiao wanted, which means I think he wants to go for the punch, power punch in this fight early. Indeed, there's been quite a story of the gloves since the first fight. In the very first fight, Eric Morales had a contract that required both fighters to wear cleaning gloves. They are called pillows by some. They are more hand protective than punch promoted. In the second fight, they got to wear the gloves they wanted. Morales were winning. Pacquiao wore his beloved Reyes punches gloves and knocked Morales out, which he had said would be the case. Now in the third fight, both fighters choose to wear the puncher's glove, Reyes. Pacquiao's already landed a couple of good body punches to test Morales' not only his defense, but long-term his stamina. Morales made the weight, as I said earlier, but I just don't think that that's the proper weight for him at this age and the time in his career. And going down the stretch, I think that may be a big factor, too, as well as the hard fight in his head. And if Pacquiao thought Morales was coming to try to get him early in the first round, as he's nearly takes a right hook from Danny Pacquiao, who was so much better with his right hand in the second fight than in the first. Another right beating Morales to the punch so far. And Morales countering with a right hand that knocks Manny back. And Morales again countering properly upstairs. Pacquiao comes back from his own assault. Yeah, both fighters' crowds are on their feet. You know, technically, Pacquiao is not a solid fighter, as everyone in boxing knows. He often gets out of position often with his punches and does a lot of things awkward and unorthodox, but still there's so much fight in him that it takes him through. In this case here, I just don't think that Morales is strong enough. When he misses his punches, I'm looking at his legs. His legs doesn't seem to be that coordinated. For these fighters, this is just a warm-up round. Hey, been a warm-up round, but the crowd found a lot to hoop about. When we go to Eric Morales' corner where his dad speaks Spanish, our interpreter is Ray Torres. Okay, you gotta throw on, on, on the top. You, you throw that left hook to the body. In, yeah, you're too far away. Get closer. It has to stay off the ropes. That's the only sound you got hit. Okay? Yeah. Stay off the ropes for me, okay, son? Yeah. You feel the ropes coming up and you get off them, okay? Use your job and get off them, okay? Right here, you see Pacquiao laying a, a right channel jab hook or whatever you want to call it that Morales just didn't see. He was coming in and didn't see it. Once upon a time, Pacquiao only had the left stuff. He's got the right stuff behind it now. That was one of the big changes between fight one and fight two. Copy box numbers in round one. Pacquiao 15 out of 41. Morales 10 out of 41. Pacquiao with a 10 to 5 edge and power connects. You saw that Judge Harold Letterman, our unofficial score, gave the first round to Manny. Pacquiao crowd chanting Manny, Manny, Manny. Morales landed some good right hands in the first fight. Tried to drive Pacquiao back with right hands there, but Manny comes back with a torrent of punches from his own. Back to the house, and of course you have ardent, spirited Mexican and Mexican-American Morales rooters sitting next to and among ardent, spirited Filipino and Filipino-American rooters for back out. What's interesting, a lot of the Mexican fans like Pacquiao themselves, too, because of his style of fight and being so aggressive. And because of the Spanish-speaking tradition of the Filipino archipelago. The Filipino archipelago. Another body 
shot by Pacquiao. They get close to the ropes, and Morales throws his right hand. You can see why Freddie Roach asks his fighter to stay away from the ropes and in the center of the ring. Jab by Morales, sweeping right hand, partially blocked. Seconds to go. Another huge 
Huge left hand by Pacquiao. Punch after punch after punch. And he wants to finish Morales right here. And the brave heart of Morales holds up, but his legs go again. Third knockdown of the fight by Pacquiao against Morales. He doesn't run again. Morales shakes his head as if to say, I want no more. That is right. Congratulations, Manny. Thank you. You thought he would come after you. Did you also think that if he did, you might end the fight early? You know, I like that. He came in early, you know. He came out early, so I can knock him out. I have a chance to knock him out, too, in the early rounds. You looked even faster against him with your hands than I can remember in the early fights. You were continually beating him the punch. Is that true? Oh yeah, uh, I believe that I'm faster than him and I'm quicker than him and and I think I'm stronger than him. Now I think uh, he feels my power. So after you knocked him down in the first, in the early round, the second round, did you think 
he's just not the fighter he once was and that you could get him? Well, um, he, he doesn't speak, of, uh, he speak my, my right hook, so he, he surprised my right hook, you know, and uh, that, that's my advantage to him. So is this the climax of this part of your career? Do you feel that having won two of the three fights from a great fighter like Morales, that that is a very big thing for you? You know, uh, on my, in my every fight, um, I lead to God, you know. Uh, God, he, he gave me a strength tonight and I, I won. And, you know, first, I, I would like to thank all the the people who love boxing and support us. And also the promoter, Bob Aram, Top Rank Promotion, and also the HBO. And also to you. Thank all you right, thank you very much, man. I have to ask you some questions. Everybody is anticipating that your next fight would be a big fight against Barrera. Is that the fight you want? Um, uh, as of now, I'm uh, about that, you know, uh, I think uh, rest first and uh, spend time more. Uh, and uh, going back home to celebrate my victory. Because all, all Filipinos, millions of Filipinos, uh, they're watching right now and uh, they're uh, celebrating to my victory. Thank you very much for a great fight. All right, thank you very much, and uh, I would like to thank to all the to the president of the, the Philippines. Thank you for your support, and also Mayor Lito Achinsa, and also the SBO. Thank you very much for all your support. We're not here. Thank you, and Bob Adam also. Thank you very much, Jim. To Manny Pacquiao getting better is frightening to everybody at 130 pounds, maybe even up to 135. But if anything. He was faster, the head movement was better, his punches were harder. I don't think I've ever seen him look any better than that. And he's got a right hook, which is a great weapon for any southpaw. Because everybody looks for the southpaw straight left. And if a southpaw can develop a right hook, and even better yet, a right up hook, he's going to be more effective. But I, I was impressed with it tonight. But I also, just as much, I expected it to some degree. And I still see a lot of flaws in his style that a rematch with Barrera, I think, is going to be a tough fight for him. As well, if he ever fights a one, then well, uh, Marquez, Marquez, I guess. I think those two fights are going to fight for him. Yeah, we'll talk about why those are the two obvious fights on the table for Pacquiao, Barrera, and Marquez. A lot of people want to see it happen. Neither guy has to be terribly anxious to get at him after tonight. Let's go to Larry Merchant and get the reflections from Eric Morales. Thank you very much, Jim. Eric, you got yourself in as uh, best shape you could. To give your best effort is Pacquiao just too young and fast at this stage of your career. Pusiste en la mejor condición que pudiste para hacer lo mejor. Pacquiao es demasiado hoy en día. Es un gran un gran trabajo físico técnico. Me cuidé mucho tiempo y por debajo del peso hice todo lo que tenía que hacer para ganar. Creo que Pacquiao es un peleador. Absolutely, I did my best. I, I did training, I had training, all the pre preparation, everything that I could do to win. Pacquiao was just too much. I did my best. When you looked to the corner, were you looking for your father? What were you thinking at that time? When you fell the second time, you were looking at the corner, you were looking for your father, you were looking for your father. ¿Qué, qué, esto, ¿Qué le querías decir? No, 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 ellos me decían que me levantara y que hiciera algunas cuestiones técnicas, pero le cerré el ojo, ya no tenía caso. Yo creo que eh, hay, hay veces que hay que saber decir adiós. I was looking to my corner and they, they were urging me on to get up. But I said, no, it's to no avail. There are times when you need to know when you're beaten, and I think I was a beaten man tonight. Do you know whether you will continue fighting as of this minute? ¿Sabes tú desde este momento en adelante si continuarás peleando o qué hay? Lo pensaría mucho, lo pensaría mucho. Creo que fue una, una noche bonita, una arena llena, un gran público de los dos lados, eh, una gente muy emotiva, yo creo que... Tendré que pensarlo. Este, creo que es, es una muy bonita noche. There's a lot of good fans here. A beautiful night, a full arena. Uh, I have to think a lot about it. Uh, it, it was a, a night that just wasn't to be.
you were skeptical that all the hard fights you've had over the years have taken a toll on you. Do you think that is true now? Tú no creías que las peleas difíciles que ha tenido en carrera te habían agotado un poco. ¿Qué piensas ahora? No, no creo, no creo, no creo. Simplemente creo que ha pasado el tiempo. Pacquiao es un peleador rápido, fuerte. Tiene otra clase de características que los demás no tenían. Y bueno, este tiempo ha pasado. He hecho una carrera impresionante, buena, con el apoyo de Bob. Y yo creo que no tiene caso andar... Eh, si tal vez Bob ya no me quisiera promover irme con alguien más yo empecé y empecé a top rank, mi carrera internacional y... long lustrous career I've done it all and the help of Bob Arum Bob Frank, uh, if they still want to promote it but uh, it, it might not be the best thing thank you, you've always had the heart of a champion muchas gracias y fue un gran gusto, un gran gusto llenar de, de buenas noches a la gente de And it was always a pleasure on my part to thrill all the people with good, good fun.